Welcome back and in this video we're going to be talking about compositions or comp composite functions. So you, we are giving two functions g of x and h of x. One is quadratic and the other one is a fraction 2 over 9x. So we want to find all kind of compositions. In particular they ask to find g composition d and h composition h. Composition is this little circle that you can see over here. And the definition of the composition, and I want to show you the composition of G and then H of X first, just because it's a classical one, basically means that you take your G at H of X. And what does it mean? You take your H of X, in this case, and plug it in into G. And students get confused with this idea quite a lot, so I always give them a funny example. If you have g of x, in this case it is x squared plus 9, and I ask you to find, for example, g of t cube, can you do that? It means I want you to copy t cube and paste it, like in the computer, copy paste, everywhere you see your x. Uh, saving all the exponents and constants and so on. So g of x is a rule, each function is basically a rule. This rule tells you, take your input, x squared, and then add 9. And that's how you get the output. So again, usually we even represent machines to be, uh, functions to be like these looking machines. You threw into your input, whatever you call it, x, t, j, the machine is running and does things and this running means it has a rule in this case the rule says take your input square it and add 9 and then the output happens the output in this case called g of x so if i'm plugging in 1 as example then the rule will be 1 squared plus 9 which is 10 of 1 make sense so each function is like a machine so if I tell you to copy t cube and paste it everywhere you see x, that means you will take your new input and your new input is called t cube squared and add 9. So this is how you say it, input squared plus 9, but input is t cube, so I will square t cube and add 9. And then you simplify using the properties of exponents, 3 times 2 is 6, add 9, and that's the answer. The funny example I always give to students to understand the situation is can you plug into the same function love? Here it is. How would you plug love? Well, why not? If love, of course, is in a domain, so let's assume that, then let's plug it. So the rule says square the input and add 9, so I will square the love and then add 9. And so on and so on. You can plug grandmothers, you can plug kitty cats and so on. Uh, the important thing that whatever you're plugging in should make sense. And this make sense means should be in the domain. You should not plug numbers of cars into the function which calculates how many grandmothers went to the grocery store in the morning. And so on. So these were just side examples. I want you to show how to find this function. G composition h. g composition h means I'm first looking at g and plugging in h everywhere. Everywhere I see input for g. So the same thing as love plugging in but instead of love which little heart or t cube I have this new function which is called 2 over 9x. But the idea is still the same. If I'm looking at composition g, little circle, h, that means g goes last. So I'm plugging h into g. You always go from the right, like this, from the right to left. So I'm looking at h. h is 2 over 9x. g is x squared plus 9. So I'm repeating the same thing I just did with love. Love was plugged into x squared plus 9. So it means I will take my input, but my input now is h of x. I'm going to square it and add 9. 
The only difference is that h is defined. h is 2 over 9x. So the answer is 2 over 9x squared plus 9. And now you can simplify. It's going to be 4 over 81x plus 9. Does it make sense? It's the idea is exactly the same. Copy, paste, everywhere you see your input. Now let's do the same thing with G composition. G and F composition and A and um, what's the other function? H composition H. G composition G of X means I'm plugging into function G the same function G. Let's hopefully that's not will confuse you because it doesn't matter. You're still gonna repeat the same rule. The rule says Square the input and add 9. The only difference is that the input is the function itself and it is g of x. But g of x is defined. Just go and check what does it look like. g of x is x squared plus 9. So your input squared plus 9 will be x squared plus 9 itself. So it's going to be Let's keep it purple. x squared plus 9, that's my input. Squared plus 9. Does it make sense? I literally copied and pasted g of x everywhere I saw x. x was only inside of the square, so I put it there. And now we simplify using the formula square of the sum formula. In this formula we know, let me review for you, a plus or minus b squared, square the first term, plus or minus double product, plus square the second term. x squared becomes x to the 4, double product of x squared and 9, plus square the second term, that's 81. And that's only x squared plus 9, all squared. And there's also plus 9 at the end. So now we're going to simplify this. I would just underline which terms can be simplified. Only 9 and 81. And I also can multiply this 9 times 2. And the answer becomes x to the 4 plus 18x squared plus 90. And this is the final answer. Put it in the box. Now we're going to repeat the same thing with H. We're asking you to find composition of H and H. The idea is, now we're going to plug into H, H. But I don't remember what H is, so let's write it down. H is 2 over 9x. H is 2 over 9x. So H is a rule and it says, Take 2 and divide by the 9 times the input. So I will have 2 over 9 times the input. But input is over here and it's h of x. Again, maybe it's little heart. Maybe it's a star. Maybe it's your name. Doesn't matter. The rule is the same. 2 over 9 times the input. If you say it out loud, it actually helps a little bit. So it's going to be 2 over 9 and instead of h, I'm going to have this copy-paste function. So copy that and just plug it here. 2 over 9x. 2 over 9x in the denominator. Now just carefully simplify. Well, first of all, 9 and 9 cancels out, so you don't have to be bothered by this. And you end up to be with 2 over... And now we're dividing by 2 over x. When you divide by a fraction, you actually multiply by the reciprocal. Or basically, you can flip the fraction. So it's 2 times x over 2. And that's just x. That means h is inverse to itself. Because when I applied h to h, it gave me the input back. Let me check the definition of that. Really quickly, let's do one more example. In this example, we have f and g. f is a fraction x plus 2. Let's put it in yellow, over x minus 1. And g, let's put it in, which color do you like, blue? 
is 2x minus 3. They ask us to find f composition g. f composition g is f at, so we're going to plug g of x into f. f is a rule. This rule says take my input and add 2. But my input is now g of x, adding 2. All over, take my input, subtract 2. But my input is g of x. You can skip this step. I'm just explaining step by step. But now you can kind of start getting the idea. Now you need to plug 2x minus 2 everywhere you see g of x. And just in general, that's exactly how it works. You plug 2x minus 2 everywhere you see x the input you can say it out loud input so 2x minus 3 2x minus 3 the rule of f of x said add 2 to the new input and subtract 2 to, of the, from the new input uh, in the denominator now you have to simplify 2x minus 3 plus 2 is 2x minus 1, 2x minus 3 minus 3 is 2x minus 4, and this is the answer. There's also a simple sub-question which asks you for the domain. Domain of the new function, you technically speaking can call it any name you want. Call the first name of your letter, of your name, the first le letter of your name. For example, I'm Julia, so I can call it G, G, J of X if I want. So this new function, which is a composition, here it is, composition has a new domain. This domain is, how do you know the domain? I know I should not divide by 0, so I need to solve 2x minus 4 equals to 0 to know which dangerous point to avoid. 2x equals 4, x is 2. So I need to avoid 2. Domain, several ways to write it down. Some lazy people write down domain is not 2, but usually that's too lazy. You, you should not be so lazy. So write down using interval notation. Avoiding 2 from a mathematical point of view means all minus infinity up until 2, not including it, so open parentheses, union sign, and then from 2 to plus infinity. And that is the answer. Let's put it in the box. Hopefully now you feel a little bit more confident with compositions of functions. Thank you for watching and see you next time.